Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 Breaking News. That breaking news is from Richmond tonight, where the prosecution's star witness took the stand in the corruption trial of former Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife Maureen. The witness for the government is one Johnny Williams, the former CEO of Star Scientific. Williams just testified about taking Maureen McDonnell on an expensive shopping spree and uh, the fact that he says she made an emotional plea for money. Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live in Richmond. Jeff, what did Williams have to say? Well, Gordon, Johnny Williams taking the stand late today. We really didn't expect to see him taking the stand, but when he did, he had a whole lot to say. In addition to talking about that shopping spree in New York City in which he spent $20,000, he says, on the former First Lady Maureen McDonald, he also talked about how it was very clear to him he was entering into a business relationship with Bob and Maureen McDonald when the former governor was in office here in Richmond. Here now, Johnny Williams getting out of court just moments ago. You said this was just a business relationship, Johnny, not a personal relationship. Can you comment on that? What was no, it like to... Not, Mr. Williams is not going to comment on anything. No comment from Mr. Williams. Please, back off. Y'all are being a bit ridiculous. Please. What will you comment Certainly a chaotic scene outside the courtroom just 10 minutes ago. Williams on the stand today talked in detail about a meeting he had on May 2nd in 2011 at the governor's mansion here in Richmond. He said that Maureen McDonald was telling him they were in serious financial trouble. They had a high interest loan that wasn't coming through. Virginia Beach rental properties were not being rented. They were discussing bankruptcy, but the governor, Bob McDonald, said it was a bad idea. What Maureen McDonald said to Johnny Williams, what he said on the stand today was that she said to him, I have a background in nutri nutritional supplements. I can be helpful to you. The governor says, I can help you with this project, but I need you to help me with this financial situation. At that point, Johnny Williams said, I said, I, I said, okay, I'll do it. He then said he wanted to speak with the governor because he said if he was going to be writing checks to the McDonald's, $50,000 for a loan, $15,000 to pay for the bill for their daughter's wedding, he said he wanted to speak with the governor about it first, saying the governor's the breadwinner. He needs to hear about this. Williams then said he to the governor, I'm willing to help. I just want to make sure you know about it. He says Bob McDonald then said to him, thank you. This was a busy day in court. The morning was chock full of information as well. Here's what happened earlier. Walking into court this morning again without his wife by his side. Uh, just expecting another good day. How do you? The former governor talked about how he's preparing for the long road ahead. Well, as I mentioned, I have great faith in God and in the justice system, and that sustains me every day. Meanwhile, Jerry Fulkerson, who has served as Johnny Williams' close aide for 19 years, in court today revealed the close relationship Williams shared with Bob and Maureen McDonald, including delivering a Ferrari to the former governor at Smith Mountain Lake while the McDonald's were on a family vacation at Williams' luxury lakefront home. During questioning by the prosecution, Fulkerson talked of the 2013 wedding of the daughter of the McDonald's, Janine, to Adam Zabowski. She says Williams wanted to buy the couple a generator as a wedding gift, but because of installation issues, he opted instead to give the couple $10,000 in cash and two first-class airline tickets for their honeymoon. Fulkerson also says she arranged trips for the McDonald children to Florida and Georgia. And on the subject of Williams' private jet, Fulkerson said that while other politicians had used it in the past, only the McDonald's had asked if their children could ride on the plane as well. The defense trying to show that Williams did favors for many people and politicians further asked about the jet. Fulkerson said John McCain, Mitt Romney and Ken Cuccinelli had all used it before. Defense attorney John Brownlee also asked about Williams. Would he lavish gifts on women? To which Fulkerson responded, he's very generous, yes. And that is the narrative the defense is trying to build, saying that Johnny Williams was generous and very giving with many people, many politicians, and the McDonald's were simply other names on this list. The prosecution, of course, the opposite direction, saying this was a clear case of corruption, that Johnny Williams and the McDonald's clearly had a business relationship. Johnny Williams essentially verifying that information today on the stand. We're going to hear more from him tomorrow. Until then, live in Richmond, Jeff Goldberg. ABC 7 News. Thank you, Jeff.